Welcome back guys for our, another instalment. Today, something special. Lamb crown roast. A real simple, easy cook. Basically, we're gonna do a beautiful marination, get it on the charcoal griller, cook it for about 45, 50 minutes, serve it, it's gonna be pink, it's gonna be juicy and so flavoursome. Stay tuned. Let's do it. Leon, when you think of lamb, what sort of flavours come to mind? You can't go by it, rosemary. Always goes fantastic with lamb. We've got our mm. sea salt here, we've got our garlic, we've got our olive oil. But today, we want to zing it up a little bit. Cheap meat style. 100%. We're going to use the zest of a lemon, we've got some paprika here, and we've got some baguette. It's going to add a little bit of extra punch and it's going to go perfectly with that lamb. So you get the hell out of here so I can start marinating. Okay, we've got five cloves of garlic. We're just going to lightly slice them. Now we're going to do this marinade. So we've got our garlic that's going to be finely chopped, about five cloves. Two tablespoons, two teaspoons of gar of salt. Now we've got a good dash of olive oil. Probably about two tablespoons. Got half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of our vegetta. And about half a teaspoon of paprika. Give that a mix. Now we'll add our rosemary, just get your stalk, run it the opposite way that it grows and it'll fall straight into your bowl. Now we're going to use lemon, get the zest. Okay, now we've got all our marinade put together, give it a good mix. You can see that paprika is making it turn orange, which can look beautiful on that lamb. You can really smell that lemon zest and that rosemary. It's definitely packing that punch. Now that it's all combined, we we'll get our basting brush and we're gonna baste the lamb. We want to get into all the nooks and crannies. So while that's cooking, that's where all the flavor is gonna go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna refrigerate this for four hours, even six. And that's gonna give plenty of time for the marinade to work right inside, for that lamb to suck it all up. All that. The lamb's been marinating for four hours in the fridge. I removed it, it has come up to room temperature. We've got leftover rosemary from our marinade. I'm gonna put in the middle of the crown. And on the barbecue, this is gonna smoke and release a beautiful aromatic smell, which is gonna bring that lamb to the next level. For the lamb, we're going to be using the Weber Master Touch Plus. I'm also going to run you through some barbecue basics, including setting up your fire lighters, loading your chimney. We've also got some awesome Argentinian charcoal today from RG Grills. So let's get started. What you want to do first, load your chimney up, fill it to the top, then just gonna get your fire lighters, like so. Grab your matches. Light that up. Place the chimney and let it go. Charcoal's ready to go. All we're gonna do now is remove your grill. Add your lit charcoal to one side for offset cooking. And we're going to add our grate back onto the Weber and the lamb's going to sit on this back side. Okay, lamb goes on away from the heat and we're going to baste it every 15 minutes with the leftover marinade and we're going to rotate it as well.
Okay, we probed the lamb at 55, we know it's cooked. About medium, so we're gonna take it off and we let it rest on the board for about 15 minutes and we can carve it up. What do you think, Corey? Smells good. It's cooked perfectly, mate. Mmm. Look at that colour. I'd be happy with that at any restaurant, mate. We're well, not gonna really get that rosemary. It's really penetrated that meat, the fragrance, the, the garlic. Taste. The garlic's oh. caramelised down beautifully. Salty. It's so perfect. I'm digging it. Well, there you go, guys. Episode two, done and dusted. Stay tuned for more. <laughs>